My half VW engine began life in 1961 in the back end of a Beetle. Hi, Darren again. I have uh, received in the mail a full flow oil pump and filter for the uh, for the half VW engine. And I know that I come as standard without an oil filter, but I really wanted one. I feel that filtered oil is better than unfiltered oil. Anyway, I'm going to pull it apart and uh, see what's inside, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, well, there you have it. Obviously, going up to where the oil filter is, the uh, the plate, and this is the actual pump itself just having a very quick look at the plate i'll be able to show you up closer um, fairly soon the gasket is actually overlapping the uh, one of the holes there in a couple of spots so i'll trim that gasket up down the track and um, just make sure it's an all good fit all pump very simple i'll just i'll take it apart the two gears this one which is driven off the back of the camshaft itself the idle one it sits on a, a spindle inside the pump. Well, look, after opening up the pump, I've noticed a couple of things that I really want to take care of. Um, I'll shine a light on this, we get it in the right area. There is a hole here that is oil going, I believe, out and out through here. Looking at that, you can see where there's been a, a bore down through that hole to match up with that hole but where it obviously matches it's it's at a very very abrupt angle i'm just trying to get that uh, right you can sort of see it like that so i'm going to uh use a dremel like tool just to smooth out those angles i don't want um, i don't want sharp angles there i want it nice and smooth to uh, maintain as much oil pressure as i can without overworking the pump uh, yeah, so I'll get a go on that. Now I'm finished. Nicely smooth through there. And if we get the light in behind, down through there, right through the right angle to come back out inside here obviously it still needs to be all cleaned out but no uh, no squared off edges which I had I actually had quite a few I was quite surprised actually that they would um, that they would let them go out like that but anyway uh, again not a uh, not a squared off edge anywhere internally okay job done my half VW engine began life in 1961 in the back end of a Beetle. That is the block, of course. Everything else is very quite brand new. They didn't originally come with filters, so I have picked this uh, remote filter and high volume oil pump up from Great Plains in the United States, and now I'm going to start fitting it. I need to take the four nuts off here, remove the plate, and then I need to pull the old pump out. So I'll get started with that. So that's the inside of my oil pump. I now need to extract it from the block. I'll pull the gears out. There's the first gear that goes into the back of the uh, the cam. This is the second, just the idler gear. Get a bit of a view of it there. And there we go, done. Well, the gears are off it. I was hoping I was just going to be able to pull and it would uh, would come out of the block. No such luck. And of course, I don't have the extraction tool, which I can see that you can buy online. I'm going to make something up just out of scrap I've got here. I've got a drill bit. And I've got some chain with a carabiner on the end. I don't think I'll be using the carabiner though. I'll get to, uh, get to it. I'm going to cut the drill bit, pop it in, chain on, and then lever on that, on that chain. I'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed I can get this out. 
I've cut the drill bit down to size. I'm just going to thread it, the chain through, like so, and then drill bit through the inlet and the outlet holes. And then I'm hoping I can actually pull on that chain, use some leverage. Now I've got the screwdriver through the chain, pop the timber on the side and see if I can provide some leverage to get this out. And, lovely, that has worked an absolute treat. Chain and drill bit out. Just saved myself a couple of dollars with some things I had laying about the hanger itself. I'm just going to pull the pump body out. Straight forward. I'm going to take the new pump body apart make sure I can pop it in for a fit before I extract these studs because the, uh, the studs won't be long enough to accommodate the, uh, the high flow. You'll be able to see the depth difference between the two pumps in terms of the, uh, the body itself. It needs to come out further here, so I need, of course, longer bolts to go through. New pump, obviously thicker across here for the longer Longer studs it will need, but I'll take the gears out. We should do a comparison of the gears. Original gears here, high flow gears here. Big, big difference in the amount of oil flow that's going to be pushed through. In a previous video, I will have shown all the relief work that I've been doing inside here to make it nice and smooth, especially in through there. Oil in oil out. Nice smooth bend on the inside instead of this enormous jagged right angle. The first two studs came out when I just took the cover plate off. This one I've just pulled off now. It's really really simple. Two nuts. One on, go about halfway. Second one on. Tighten the top one down onto the bottom one. And then, on the bottom one, undo it. Last stud extracted. I'm just going to pop a couple of studs and make it much, much easier to guide the new pump in. Now the pump's in, I'll unscrew the studs. Done. Now to line up the gears, this is the main gear. gasket goes on dry, I'll pop it onto the backing plate first, bolts through and then bolt straight through into the block. Filter on, some oil, job's right. You know something, when I got home I was editing this oil pump video together, I realised that I hadn't put Loctite on any of the bolts and also it's probably a good idea to use a torque wrench to bring them up. Uh, 
The case nuts, small ones, are 15 foot-pounds, large ones are 30 foot-pounds. Quite easy to remember on this Volkswagen engine at the moment. Just a light dab in. Done. Prior to putting this new oil pump on, which is a high flow oil pump, the gears on it, I believe, are 32 millimeter. Now on the stock one that came in the engine, the gears were 20 mil, so we're looking at 50% greater gears. Whether that means it's a 50% greater oil flow, I'm not 100% sure, but it's certainly what they call a high flow oil pump. I had some issues with low pressure, and in order to bring the pressure up, the oil pressure up in the engine, I removed the plunger and Scott Kasler machined me up a slightly, slightly larger number of slightly larger uh, plungers and a high pressure spring with a high flow oil pump. I'm naturally pushing through more oil. When you're pushing through more oil at a faster rate, the assumption is the pressure inside is going to actually increase. A couple of ways of increasing pressure, pushing more through. The other option is to squeeze off. If you imagine a garden hose, if you squeeze off the end of the garden hose, even if the tap's on a little bit, the pressure builds up inside that hose. That increases the pressure. If you let the pressure off the end of the garden hose and it just flows out normally, the pressure decreases. Letting go of the garden hose, turning the tap up full, increases the pressure inside that hose as well. And I'm assuming that this is what's going to happen with the high flow oil pump. Do is, I'll take the, the spring out, go back to the stock spring, the stock plunger, put it all back in, start the engine up and see how the oil pressure looks at that time. I can increase it if I need to. I don't want to start too high and end up blowing a seal out the front if the oil pressure is just way too high. Um, trial and error to a degree, but I'll give it a go. That's the high pressure spring, which you can see is taller than the stock standard one. To get the plunger out, use a tap. It's not going to come out by itself. It wasn't easy the first time round. Do this, push it up into the plunger, give it a turn. And voila. The one that came with the engine, I believe, is a 15.4 stock spring, plunger in first, spring in second, plug, going in, this is back to the standard spring, plunger, pressure arrangement that I had when I originally got the engine. I'm assuming with uh, what may be up to 50% more oil flow, it's going to increase the pressure naturally within the, uh, within the engine. Only an engine run warm-up is going to show us that. Well, changing out the plunger and the high pressure spring was the best thing I could have done. Went back to the standard, the high flow oil pump has done its job. It's pushed more oil through, and I've now got more stable pressures from high to low. Low being around the 20 mark for the idle and about 40 for uh, when I'm actually flying out there. Best thing I could have done. Best thing we can all do is keep building and keep flying. Take it easy, guys. Do that again to pull it with the multi grips just on the uh, on the what do you call that? I don't know what you call that. A oh, one. Oh, I've done that. Shh. That's an airport. Shush.